Okay, my lovely friends, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino, August 1st, 2023. This year is just freaking flying by. People, look, we have to talk about a bunch of things. None of it, again, is going to be a shock to you if you followed this blog because you already knew it. Let's start off with, with this. So you and I, for I don't know how many years now, have discussed how the global economy uh, is cratering at its fastest pace ever, ever. As a matter of fact, let's push this point home. So we just got some news here on global manufacturing that includes here in the United States and around the world. Manufacturing around the world continues to crater at its fastest pace ever, especially in Europe and here in the United States. What does that mean? That means that you can expect, well, debts and deficits to continue to balloon. All of this is tied together and uh, it should be pretty evident what, what else do we know what have we been talking about as of late this how many of you out here find it even slightly interesting how you have world leaders especially those here in the united states talking about you know this program and that program and funding this war and funding that thing where does all this cash come from think about it i mean we have an economy on a worldwide scale that is frankly done um although it does seem that global equity markets or stock markets are defying gravity hold that thought because we're going to talk about that in a moment it's the illusion of the market Okay, you know how this works. People look at their 401ks, they look at the stock market, and because it keeps going up, they think everything is fine. Uh, well, this morning, just in case you're not paying any attention to this, let me look. The MMRI is sitting at 252.8. It is 7.53 a.m. Eastern Time. With that, again... MMRI rising, you got stock futures lower across the board, pointing towards a lower open. Nothing dramatic, but lower nonetheless. Excuse me. You also have gold and silver under pressure, cryptocurrencies under pressure, crude oil under pressure. It almost, at least right now, looks like a setup for a pan sell-off. Again, what do we know must happen? One of three things must happen in order for this freak show to keep going on. Number one, the Fed needs to do something about that 10-year yield, which is on the rise. They need to buy more debt. Number two, they need to weaken the dollar somehow on a relative strength basis. Or number three, buy large cap stocks or a combination of those three things in order to prop up this market. Me, I still believe... I still believe that the Fed is not done. They're not going to allow a meltdown in the debt market to occur. Again, there's a lot of reasons. Number one, this is an election cycle. All right, They need to prop up that market. This is why we don't get pullbacks, why we don't get corrections. It's just up, up, and away. But again, looking at risk in this market based on the relative strength of the dollar, based on the 10-year yield, which... Uh, the two keys to this entire freak show, uh, you know, in a, in a little, nice little equation that that is called the MMRI. Again, free to you, free to everybody. Link in the description of this video. Risk is rising. Uh, and I would not be surprised uh, to see some action get taken to prevent a sell-off. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're going to see a big, fat, ugly sell-off. Maybe we're going to see a, a correction here. But they got to do something about this uh, this debt market here. I mean, don't lose sight of the fact that we have the most inverted yield curve that we've ever seen in history. And without exception, not even one time, every time we've had anything that has resembled, we haven't had anything like this before, but whenever we've had a yield curve that even has, again, resembled what we have. We have fallen into a recession or a depression. And what's coming here, people, has yet to be defined. This is, uh, again, where, where no man, no woman has gone before. And this is a worldwide phenomenon. Um, okay, that's just the way it's going. So 
So with that, I think this morning, the, the big news here is global manufacturing, which includes here in the United States, you know, because if you were to turn on the propaganda ministry or you were to listen to co what's coming out of the mouths of politicians and everything else, oh, you know, the United States is immune. We're doing great. Meanwhile, what was it yesterday? 61%, 61% of working families here in the United States are living paycheck to paycheck. More and more people are falling to the lower rung of society as you and I have predicted would happen from 10 years ago. 10 years ago, this neo-feudal system really, really started to get rolling here. Uh, and it's accelerating moving forward. It's gonna get a lot worse moving forward. Uh, energy prices, commodity prices, uh, all of this, all the stuff we talk about every single day, but at least you know what to do. You see, we're not just sitting here blabbing and blabbing and blabbing and blabbing. We're saying, okay, these are the dynamics in play. This is what's going on, and this is what we're going to do about it. You understand? I think we're pretty much on the same page. All right, now going back to our lovely booming economy, we're finding out that more corporations are planning on laying off tens of thousands of people. That's because our economy is so strong. You know why? You know how you can be absolutely certain that our economy is so strong? Well, because that box with the faces on it that's pro trying to program your brain, the propaganda ministry is telling you how strong it is. Brain dead presidents are telling you how strong it is. Um, also, they must be right, uh, you know, obviously, right? Now, how about this whole thing is coming apart faster and faster and faster? But imagine my shock. Imagine your shock. Let's just touch back on to this market w real quick. As I said, you got the 10-year yield on the rise. You got the relative strength of the dollar on the rise. The market's not liking it. The market is not liking it right now. As I said, stocks are slated for a lower open. Let's see what they pull off today. I don't know about you, but I'm very curious to see, are we going to... Are we going to witness a miracle today? Are we going to see the MMRI drop below 250? Are we going to see the 10-year yield fall or the, the dollar by some chance just drop? Uh, are large cap stocks going to just by some miracle get bought up? You know, because the Fed doesn't buy stocks. You know how you know the Fed doesn't buy the stock market? Because they tell you they don't. But they do have a trading desk. You can't make this stuff up. I dare any one of you to make this stuff up. Anyway, that's kind of where we stand today. We got a global economy in free fall, faster than ever. Manufacturing, it's over, it's done. Um, you know, it's, especially here in the United States, we used to be the hub. Now it's been taken over here. We don't do, we don't make anything. We don't export anything anymore. Uh, people here in the United States can't make ends meet. Personal debt, household debt, consumer debt out of control, getting worse. People are becoming slaves to the system more so than we've ever seen before, just as you and I knew they would. You and I have been talking about this for over 10 years. Um, and they're doing that. They're willingly doing this. Not you. I know that's not you. You, uh, you understand what's going on here better than anybody. And do you know why? Because this is our thing. This video blog is our thing. And I really believe that you and I are so far ahead of the curve because we're aware. We're, we're raising our awareness. We're paying attention to what's going on. We're not walking through time and space with blinders on, you know, having being fist-fed more and more garbage out of the mainstream media propaganda. Anyway, that, that's it, people. Look, how many of you are shocked at all? to find out that manufacturing continues to crater, that the global economy continues to free fall at its fastest pace ever, more so than we've ever seen before. Uh, and this phenomenon of the market, <laughs> you know, defying gravity, look, what goes up must come down. What's that song? What goes up must come down. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's going to at one point. And it's going to, you know, look, this whole thing, this whole thing is going to get so real at one point. But again, the real crash, the meltdown that everyone is waiting for, waiting for and knows is going to come is not going to start nor end in the stock market. It's all going to start in the debt market. So that's why you need to keep your eyes on the debt market, more specifically the MMRI. I think it's the best risk tool that's ever been created, uh, honestly, to uh, gauge risk in the market in real time. All right, people, with that said, today is the first of the month. On the first of every month, I ask for your support. Greg, you know what? You're doing a good job. I'm going to support your work. Uh, all I ask for is 
five bucks, five dollars. And you have a multitude of ways to do this. Um, in the description of this video, you can use Stripe, you can use PayPal, you can send me cryptocurrencies if you want to, or if you're a, a member of YouTube, you can click on down here, there's a little, there's a little heart, you can click on that. Send me five bucks. I greatly appreciate that. I really, really would. We got to have each other's backs. I have yours and I do hope you have mine. All right, people, with that said, I will see all of you later for my live stream. Please have some questions ready for me and we will talk about this later. All right. Love you a lot.